It's an invasion! Invasion! It ain't no table invasion! I'm setting up for a yard sale tomorrow! Who's gonna pay for them tables? You better get back here! What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out of the range and we're back for another episode of When Guns Go Boom. The last firearm we tested to failure was a 4570 lever action. The number one comment in that video was to test an AK-47 next. And today, we have just that. So today we are gonna find out what would happen if an AK-47 is pushed to failure. How's the gun gonna handle it? And how would it affect the user? Most of you are probably excited about today's video, but there's at least one or two people that aren't too happy about it. We're gonna have a little bit of fun and show you what the AK-47 is capable of. We're gonna go get set up and get started, but before we do, let me tell you about today's sponsor. And today's sponsor is Aura. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your personal information. This information is accessible because data brokers profit from selling it to telemarketers, spammers, robocallers, and anyone else who wants to know more about you. And that's why I'm super excited about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura will identify data brokers exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They'll even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link, aura.com forward slash Kentucky to get a free two week trial and see how many data brokers are sharing your information. You can also find this link in the description down below or you can scan my QR code. Aura also does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats you can't see. It's easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so that you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. Don't let people continue to exploit and profit off your private information. Swing over to Aura.com forward slash Kentucky and start your free two week trial today. You can also find this link in the description down below or you can scan my QR code. Again, a big thank you to Aura for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is a mag dump. I'm going to be loaded up with 20 rounds of Underwood Ammo 762 Controlled Chaos. These are 123 grain. does against some pineapples and cabbages.
All right, that's enough fun and games. Let's get to the science portion of the video, shall we? The AK-47 that we've been using today is a Russian Vepper, and this thing is super nice. A little too nice for today's test. The AK-47 that we're gonna be pushing to failure is a Century Arms C39 V2. Okay, we have everything set up. The AK-47 is in the lead sled. We have a Ballistic Dummy Lab Zombie Bus and Synthetic Hands. A big thank you to them for sending them over to us. I have a cinder block wall, Lexan over top of the AK-47, and a string attached to the trigger. Once we get this thing loaded up, I'll be back that way, hiding behind my truck. The last thing I have to do is get this thing loaded up with this very spicy round. The normal operating pressures for an AK-47 are around 50,000 PSI. This little guy is gonna be producing over 200,000 PSI. That's a spicy meatball! That part always makes me nervous. Speaking of explosions, it has been two years since my 50 cal accident. And if you want to celebrate my two year recovery, be sure and check out these limited shirts. They're only available for the month of April. And I have these gold thumbs that I'm going to autograph. There will be a little over a hundred of these that will be sprinkled in with orders. If you want to check those out, there's a link in the description down below. Okay, let's get in position here. Brandon, are you ready? White Claw. Alrighty then, before I pull this string, if you are not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, hit that subscribe button. Here we go. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? Um, this is not as broken apart as I thought it would be. It doesn't look like a whole lot happened. I'm gonna review the slow-mo footage really quick. Two hours later. Okay, well, um, actually a little more happened than I thought. Uh, we had, oh dear. He's missing a little bit of skin right here on the side of his head. He's got a few other little marks. Hand is still intact. So after reviewing the slow-mo footage, I could see that there was quite an explosion that occurred right here. It blew downwards through the mag and then upwards and blew our dust cover off. Here it is. And it's pretty bulged out. It looks like our bolt is pretty locked up in there. Let's see if we can get our mag out. That comes out. Oh gosh. Yeah, I would say that looks pretty bad. I do not have a hammer, but I do have a hatchet. Oh, we have movement. So there is a piece of the brass. Oh, if you look right here, you can see the brass still stuck in the barrel and it looks like some of it just completely vaporized. The trigger still works. Now let's take a look at the bolt. Oh yeah, man, it cracked all that. Okay, let's see here. So this doesn't look too bad except for this portion right here. And if you look here, you can see this is completely cracked all the way down the sides. And it's not looking too healthy. So I would definitely say that this AK-47 is out of commission. But surprisingly, it held up pretty well. And it didn't look like the person shooting it would have been too damaged. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little disappointed and I feel like I could have done better. So now I have to ask you, would you like to see an AK-47 tested one more time? 
or would you like to see me move on to another firearm? If so, let me know which firearm you'd like to see on the next episode of When Guns Go Boom in the comment section down below. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time. What's in my mouth?